Charles, how you doing, buddy? Good to see you again, man. Good to see you. Hey, I'll tell you what, I need, I'm going to need to get your phone number. I got someone that's desperate in need of getting a place. Okay. I just met with them this morning, and she said she'd even pay rent. You know, she... She'd pay rent. Uh, tell her that it's $20 a night. Uh, that's not much. If she needs less than that, tell her the first, the first four weeks I'll work with her. Okay. And... Um, if uh, she wants her own room, she can have it. I got one room right now that's available. It's got its own access to the uh, driveway. I just got, like I said, I've been cleaning it up for like three or four weeks. And man, I'm just now, in some spots, I'm just now seeing the ground, so. How, okay. Uh, how soon does she need it, like today, tonight? It is basically, I mean, I could go back and let them know, and I could even go back and get my car and give them a ride. Right, um, where she, are they at? Um, right now they were at the courthouse sitting in the park. Okay, where have they been sleeping at? In the woods. Oh. Um, okay. If With you a want beat up, to, broken down tent. Okay, if you want to, pick them up and meet me at the Dollar General up here. What time is it? Oh, I don't have my be phone. A good time for you. It's about 1.30 now. Okay, um, I have running water, tell her. I've got to get a fuse box, but this, this is the only room that I've got. It's out of the weather. Okay. And it's out of the But it'd be good for her yes. and her, her, her significant other. Yes. All right, fantastic. And, and it's right off Airport Road here? Yes, it is. All right, which Dollar General are you talking it's about? The one as soon as you start going up Airport, it's right there on the left. Okay, before I would turn on... Okay, don't go down Tiz Bridge Road. Stay to the right and stay on the Airport Road. As soon as you pass the Dollar uh, General entrance, it's the next one over to the left. It's the first driveway on the left, residential driveway on the left on the Airport Road. All right, I'll tell you what. Let me, uh, I'm going to grab a pen because I need to get you. You have a working phone, right? Yeah. Let's do it that way. Yeah, I tell her we'll work out something because I've got um, one more roommate. He's not a roommate. He's staying in the brown house. Uh-huh. The brown house and that has no plumbing or nothing. She's a good woman, man. The she's struggling. DFS took her kit. Yeah, she's very clean, very organized. Okay, and she you does know. have a stable income? Well, she gets a check Every and... Month. Yeah. Okay, tell her I can help her out a lot. What's your number, Charles? Uh, so I'll just charge him $20 a night. Okay. Okay, for the boat. It's usually $20 a night per person. Okay. Uh, but... Um, and it's not that I ch I don't charge them. What it is is if something she needs to be no done. her boyfriend said he'd do maintenance. He, he's a handyman. He'll cut grass. He'll he'll do a bunch of the stuff okay. that you don't have time to do. Okay, that sounds good. You know, man. you guys can negotiate a deal. <laughs> I'm gonna go talk. I'm gonna go see him right now. They're at the courthouse. All right, man, thank you. All right, I'll call you here. I'd say within within 45 minutes. All right, thank you, Darryl. You're welcome. You can't possibly tell me things don't happen for a reason. Sure enough, she said, he said they can go there tonight. And oh my God, I got to rush over to the court place. I hope they're still there. They seem to be a little reluctant. You know what, I got her phone number though. I'm gonna go there directly first. All right, this is fantastic news. People helping people, that's the way it should be. She was crying earlier. I think she's gonna cry more now. She is not gonna believe this. You want the good news or the bad news? So, you guys ready to move? Where are we moving? I got you a place. Where? Tonight. Right yeah. now, where? Uh, on Airport Road, that guy I was talking about. I just, I just driving by. He's walking by AutoZone. I stopped in the park a lot. Just talk to him tonight, right now. We'll pack all your shit. I'll get you over there. Tomorrow. Huh? Tomorrow. Well, he'd like to meet you guys. Ooh, okay, what's the bad news? Well, there really wasn't any. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess what I'm getting at is. You know, you needed an opportunity. Okay, so I need I need to go pack up everything in my tent and all that. So. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. Why don't we get you settled in there for the night? 
I'm going to go home and get my, my SUV and come back and pick you guys up and meet him at the location. You guys can make a decision right there and then okay. before you pack anything. And then tomorrow when I pick you up to go to your appointment, then we can go from there. Does that sound good? All right. Hang out here for about an I'll be back in less than an hour with the car. Does that sound good? All right. Yeah. You don't have any electricity in the woods. I don't see what the difference would be. Well, you know, DVAX is going to have to go in there. Well, yeah, but that's stuff that you guys can figure out. You know, he said something about needing a fuse box, so I guess, yeah, the electricity might not be. He said it had running water. I don't, I don't like messing with the electric, but I can do that. Well, we'll yeah, we'll you'd have to discuss that with him. Friend of mine? You'd have to discuss that with him, but he's open to negotiation, and I told him that you're a handyman type guy. You know, you'll cut grass, and he's like, hey, maybe we can negotiate, you know, discounts on rent, you know, maintenance type, you know, maybe, whatever. I've done a lot of that. All right, well, all right, then I'll tell you what. I'm going to go home and change cars, and I'll be back here within an hour. It'll be, I'm going to park in the same spot. I'll beep the horn at you. So, in the meantime, get your stuff packed up. And if you need to, we can bring you over to the, t providing you agree that you want to stay there, if there's stuff you want to get from the tent tonight, but it did have running water, you know, so, uh, well, I guess it wouldn't be hot water because if there's no electricity for the, you know, water heater. Yeah. I, I don't even know, you know, well, I can, but. I can make that We're going to change. We'll see when we do that. All right. Then I'll be back in less than an hour. All right. uh, you guys hang tight. All right. All right. I'm going to be back real well, you be, that looks freaking delicious. I'd, I'd swallow the whole... No, 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 I can't. I'm on a strict diet. Yeah, me too. <laughs> All right. You, you go. got me. That's freaking delicious. All right. I'll be back in a few that's minutes. My, that's, my, that's my problem right there. All right. Food. The sooner I go, the sooner I can get back. I'll oh, be right I back. I'll tell you thank you. I don't know who donated this, but thank you. Oh, that was Mark. Yeah, same thing with the, uh, um, well, obviously the watches, but he also gave the battery that you got, you know, a, a month ago. Yeah. I just plugged it in down there. Oh. Okay, I'll be right back. All right, guys. What are you doing, buddy? I left in such a rush, I didn't get your leash. You just hang tight for a second. Shiloh, what's wrong? Thank you. You're what? I got a headache. You got a headache? I'll tell you what. It's um, a stress headache. Yeah. I guess it could be a migraine. I'll have a mini. If it's a migraine, I'll have a mini stroke later. Where's James? Or I'm sorry, Mark. Mark, he's right there. He went to go get um, another one of us. Something to drink. Okay. Well, you guys ready to ready to roll? Cause I got a. Uh, I'm just waiting for it back from. I just talked to him, not literally talked to him, but we texted, and he said just meet me at the address, but I don't know the address. Well, obviously, obviously it's your decision. You know, you guys can decide. Watch Shiloh, okay? I'm not sure what's going on, but she basically exclaimed earlier that. She, you guys have been scouring the earth to find a place. Yeah. Is that true or not true? Yeah. Okay, so I have perhaps found a place and she's walking away. So I'm not sure how this she is going to work out. She had to go get her phone. She's on charge. Yeah, she's on, her phone's already on charge, so she ain't charged my phone yet. Okay. Well, I mean, you guys... You know, you make the ultimate decision whether you like it or not. You know, that's up to you. You know, I just found a potential answer to, a, you know, a fix to a problem that may exist. Yeah. Well, so you're going too, right? Yep. All right, so let's let's grab our stuff, man. Let's go. Okay, well this is Bruno. I met Bruno. We, we played the last one. Yeah. Thank you. Look at him. He just wants to give you kisses. Oh,
He could be Shiloh's distant cousin. They're the same dog, but just different color. All right, well, we're going to get in the area. I'm still waiting on his text. Let me make sure you didn't text a minute ago when I was out of the car. My phone's charging. I said, call me. He said, sorry, I missed your call. If you can meet me at the property in 20 minutes, this is Charles. And I said, I need the address. You know, I don't, I don't know. Meet me at the property. I don't know where it is. Yeah, if you guys feel this is a shady deal and you're better off doing what you're doing. But he did say, you know, two to three weeks of, you know, free stuff. He's well, got a this is a this is a, a thousand percent turnaround from earlier. You know, you're living in a ripped up tent out in the woods, got no place to go. You're in tears, and here I found a spot. Maybe if the guy ever calls me back. He did earlier. Okay, I'm going down fields. That's what we're doing. It's not that. It's just that. well. I have a lot, and I don't want to get. I don't want to put myself in no situation. Well, there's no lease, there's no contracts, you know, it's not like you're uh, right. buying a car. Well, I guess regardless of how you look at it, a trailer, double wide, a room, you know, it's shelter out of the woods, the cold, etc., etc., with running water, you know, that's a bonus that you haven't probably experienced in quite some time. Just my thoughts on that. But we'll see. You know, if you don't like it, then hey, we're no better, we're no worse off than we were when we started. Yeah. But at least uh, we made the attempt. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, Charles. Yeah, that's it. Yep. All right. They say they kind of know you. They what? They say they know you. I do know them. Okay. Yeah, they're cool. Man. Um. All right. He's fine. That's oh, my yeah. buddy. There's he's, another one here. It belongs to her, so you may want to be There careful. it is. No, he's yeah, my he's chief of security. Hold on, let me... Uh, yeah, he comes up. He comes up there. Woo! I'm, uh... Yeah, man. It's fine. Uh, I'm, I don't know how I heard about that. Where y'all been saying that? Nah, you're doing everywhere else. Really? I'm not doing... I'm not doing it yet. Charles, yeah, they were worried about having power. You, you yeah, had, I mean, it, all it takes is 150 bucks. They, they, you know, know, that's why we never come back out here. They told me but, it would cost me $5,000 to have power. Uh, $5,000? Yeah. No, it's 156 bucks. I think. The yeah. water runs. That's. I mean, if you got a power source, that's cool. But, but there's no hot water. Well, they have to Be heat their own up. I mean, as long as they're... Well, how can they heat it up? Uh, There's no electricity. Propane. With propane? Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's up to them. You know, it's grown-up time, time. No, I no, I got you. You know I got what I mean? You. Hey, yeah. self-responsibility is first step yeah. of learning how to... But are you going to commit to getting the power turned on? Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm going to eventually. You know what I mean? But everybody has to throw in this sort of be here. That's why I was telling you $20. Uh, for y'all, man, I'll charge you $20 tonight. It's uh, $100 a week. But the first three weeks, y'all... Uh, you know what I'm saying? Jeff, come see I'm not doing with Jeff. Well, Jeff, he stays out in Eton, and you ain't got to deal with him. He, he, he's been up here one time, I think, since y'all moved from over there. If I deal with Jeff, I talk to him out there. Yeah, I don't want to deal with him. Yeah, he don't come over here. It's up to you. I mean, I'm not forced you to be anywhere. Is it's that, better than a tent. Is that, is that cleaned out yet? Yeah, I've got furniture in here. I've got... And I'm walking um, Here in just a few, I'll let you. But I, what I'm going to do, y'all, I'm going to let y'all stay up there up top. Okay. And what that is, there's a fuse box there. They make these little electric um, yep. generators. You can hook it up to that fuse box and it'll run power all the way through the house. So, you know, and you can even hook up hot water or something to heat some hot water up with. Yeah, okay, okay. well, you can lock well, the top part. There's a door that's I'm gonna put a door up there. Okay, so that's like a temporary thing until yeah, this is. That's a tiny house there. Okay. Yeah. But enough for two. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's three rooms in it fantastic 
<laughs> you got some serious burning going on. Man, I've got a little bit. I do it all the time. Yeah. I burn tons of cardboard. So I got a thousand what, boxes. What it is is uh, Tara, she's packed the garbage up here. I don't know who's told her that to do it, that they're paying her off to do it. But she <laughs> paying out, her off. Literally, she'll go out here and pick garbage up out of the ditches and bring piles of it. Big bags of it. I smell plastic. Yeah. Yeah, plastic, you rubber. See. Don't you smell plastic yeah, or rubber? I, I, yeah, yeah. right there, man. It's burning like crazy. Well, I'll tell you what, Charles. Can we take a tour of the potential? Uh, well, yeah. that, there isn't nowhere ready. I got the floor tour out of the uh, laundry room. Okay. I prefer you stay out of that. But what's the uh, What's the here. ETA on that? Uh, that? I'll be done with that today. Okay, so they can stay there until that's ready. Yeah, and then they can stay in that back bedroom. See, it's uh, it's up top right there. Oh. So, I've been in all of them. Yeah, it's a nice room. Yeah, I've been in all of them. Yeah, no, we'll uh, okay. If you want to take a look at where that they're going to be staying, it'll be you guys want to do a walkthrough? See what it's all about? You better be worried about them kids. <laughs> Why do you think I'm doing what I'm doing? I'll see you tomorrow. Hey, man. No, you were a man of your word. You, hey. you know, you said you had some places. We had just met yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. That's the first time you've been? Yeah. First time. Well, at Walmart yesterday. Yeah. yeah. Well, it was at Walmart, yeah. Yeah. Hey, like I said, you know, you know, Mark here is ready to do some, some maintenance and I've stuff. Been, I've done lawn maintenance. I've done... No, they stole all the chainsaws. And oh, they goodness. They just now stole a daggum weed eater the other day, about three yeah. days ago. So. They've stole everything from out here, haven't they? Yeah, everything. Everything just about it. Okay. Well, obviously, you know, I'm just a guy, and I can't make any decisions for you. Oh, no, I'm, I'm taking this up off the street. I'm yeah, doing I it. can't blame you one okay, bit. Okay, but we still need to keep our eyes open. i got to find a place to live back here. All right, guys. It's moving day for Faye and Mark and uh, Shiloh their puppy uh, we're gonna make it happen I'm going to pick them up she has an appointment at 1 15 it is 12 24 and uh, I'm gonna meet them they're gonna have their stuff packed and we're gonna move into their new location thanks to a guy I just met you know 24 hours prior to that by the name of Charles it's not the Hilton it's not the Ritz but it's home. All right, gonna be back shortly. <laughs> Faye, I didn't hear a word you said. I said that lady just called me and asked me if we could do it on two, one day next week. You're talking about your 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 okay. meeting? Yeah. Okay. So I gotta text her back. All right. Like we'll go right ahead. Um, where's uh where's Mark? He's coming. He's getting the two tarps and the dog. Okay. Yeah, not a problem. All right, so this is all your stuff. Yeah. All right, I'll tell you what. Let's put the let's put this in last. It's moving day. Yeah, that can go right where the other one was. There you go. Perfect. Are you excited? You never know how much stuff you have until you move. Oh, this is what I carry on my back all the time. <laughs> well, that's ridiculous. Oh, I got you something today. I got I got a picture. You got me some? Yeah. All right. I'll tell you what. It's, it's okay. You'll have the dog, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Um, well, we can put these in the back. I'll tell you what. Now, go ahead and set that on the... Put that on top. Because uh, we can stack the bags any which way because they're soft and crumbly. There you go. Are you Phil? Oh, no, I'm Jeff. I'm sorry? Jeff. Jeff? Yes. Okay. Hey, are you hungry? Did you just have lunch? Yeah. You just did? Okay. Would you like something to drink? No, no thank you. Okay. Uh, you look like someone else from, from behind. But uh, all right. Well, have a great day. You yeah. too, Thank you. Here you go, baby. Just some water. I 
I always carry a big cup like that for my dog. Because you never know. You never know. Oh, Lord. Oh, no, you got to have those. Yeah, you never know when you need vintage. You got your okay. mattress to boot. Well, it's actually a... Um, Hello, man. How you doing, Josh? I'm doing good. You been all right, man? Yeah. Hey, you hungry? Or you, you probably just ate, like, just now. Uh, they don't feed that much down here, man. Yeah? I mean, yeah, I'm hungry. Hey, I got a question. Do you have a tent? I have no tents. No um, tent. no, I ran out of what supply. You got any tarps? Uh... I gave my last tarp to uh, who was that? Just a couple days ago. Oh, there. Um, I'm not sure. No, it wasn't here. Um, matter of fact, it was. It was uh, Daryl. You know, Black Daryl was the last tarp that I had. I can look around at the house, but I can I can't guarantee you any uh, particular time that I'd be back. Well, uh, yeah. Uh, I would like a little bit of food or snacks or something. Yeah. Down there, man. I've been having a rough week, man. Been there working with this guy and uh, working with this dude. Uh, we can get more of that in the back in the back here. Well, I just put that mattress back there too. I got to get uh, I'm gonna get Josh a quick lunch. They're right here. Here you go, buddy. I uh, appreciate that, man. Yeah. Okay. Thank and then, you. Thank you, sir. Is well, that... You. Would you like a lunch? Thank you. Okay. What's your name? Alicia. Alicia. My name is Daryl. Let me break you off a card. If I can find one. There's one. Oops. There's two. Thank you. All right. Yeah, I'm just trying to help some people out. I help my friends here get relocated. And, uh, you know, kind of going from there. So. Okay. Yeah, there's a, there's a, a Kool-Aid pack in there. Um, Slim Jim, and that's turkey and cheese, okay. with addition to some snacks. Yeah. Bye, you guys. I appreciate that. All right, good to see uh, you again, Josh. Nice to meet you too. All right, Alicia, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, honey. Okay, well, you have guys have a great day. Be safe. Thank uh, you. We will. All right, I'll take a look for a tarp. All right, I'll, I'll keep it in mind. You know, either way, I got to put one in my car. Okay. Oh my God, William, how you doing, bud? Make it. You? What are you doing over here, man? I just come to see Charlie. Visit. I just tried calling him and went, and went to his voicemail. Where is so. it? I just out in the snake of the woods. Yeah, yeah. We stopped by yesterday, and this couple here, they're gonna, you know, move in. Yeah. Yeah. So I went and picked them up over at Providence, and where, where's Sarah Beth? She's in jail. I thought she was in treatment. Oh Lord. Yeah. In Whitfield County? Uh, she is now. She was, I don't remember what county she was in. But she's in Whitfield now? Yeah. Man, that's crazy. Yeah. I ain't seen you forever. I was just thinking about you the other day. Yeah. Well, it's, uh, yeah, I make my rounds, but I'm just here and there. You know, there's no. Say, like me? Yeah. I'm kind of out and about in all kinds of different ways. Looks like you got a little steadfast uh, bike there. Yeah, for now, until somebody steals it. <laughs> <laughs> until somebody steals it, yeah. Well, that's about just though. I guess take advantage of it while you can. Get yeah. your mileage. Yeah. Well, Get I, your. I, I, I think you're getting the miles out of it. You're sweating bullets, man. You want a water? You got something to drink? Please. Yeah, man. I got a, I got a, Doctor Thunder or a Mountain Lightning or a regular cola. Water's fine. Water's fine? Yeah. Okay, tell you what, I got electrolyte packs. Okay. Check it out. Full of potassium and sodium. Oh, heck yeah. Turns it into a Gatorade. Yeah. A Gatorade equivalent, I should say. All right. You know what I'm getting at. Shade. Yeah. <laughs> yeah man, hang out. Yeah, grab a seat. So. How you been? Like, really? Oh, well, I've had a couple of rough weeks. My car was broke down for a little bit. That makes no sense. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I had a bad alternator. But I had to get my mom's SUV to help these guys out and pack their stuff, you know. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's been a hot minute. I've just been all over, you know. It's, uh, it's, it's never ending. <laughs> it's Sadly, I know. Yeah, well, you live it. I just right. experienced part of it, you know. Right. Are you doing, you want to run 
the dog. I'll run to the store. Does he want to wait here? Mark, do you want to stay here? Keep an eye on things. guys what a week man that was a long few days well we waited waited and waited for uh you know the landlord charles to make it back he finally called and said he was tied up he said it was okay for them to go ahead and move their stuff in and uh they had it all you know kind of sitting outside there on the curb and they found a couple of places to sit and uh to tell the truth, that's really about it. Um, but they are relocated. They're in a new place. You know, when they say that, uh, you know, good things come to those who wait and or, you know, everything happens for a reason. You know, I think that applies here. Sure, it's a stepping stone, but hey, you're not in a tent. Winter is upon us. Fall starts tomorrow. Or two days or whichever it is. You know, it kind of changes. But uh, anyway, they seem to be pretty happy overall. And that's the main thing. Smiles, smiles are there. But, uh, all right, we're going to do an update, you know, in a little, you know, I don't know, a few days, a week, whatever it is. You know, kind of keep you posted as to progress. But tomorrow it's back to the grindstone. You know, boots to the street, so to speak. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed the three-part series. I know, uh, man, I had hours and hours and hours of footage. But it was basically just to, uh, you know see what I had and then of course a lot of it's just small talk back and forth you know nothing of great significance but uh, all right I'm gonna get this up to you part three I'll talk to you guys in a, in a bit